Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a great morning. Uh, today we want to talk about what to consider when choosing an ad fraud solution. So there's lots of things to consider. Cost, product, all kinds of different things you want to look at. Um, integrations, how it works with your system. Uh, is it real time, is it not real time? So there's a lot of things to consider. Um, in our arena, we consider three things as the most important thing when considering uh, an air fraud solution. Um, you really can't consider price. There are a lot of companies out in the marketplace that are like 50 bucks a month that don't actually do any fraud detection. In fact, they're not even certified. There's probably 50 companies in the market that do fraud uh, detection in some fashion. There's only eight of us that are actually certified. So it's important to choose a solution that's been at least validated by some third party. That's the first thing. The second, uh, the three things that we think are the most important things that make up an ad fraud solution, first off, is accuracy. Accuracy is paramount. <clears throat> if you have a solution that's mismarking real traffic as fraud and fraudulent traffic as real, it's really not doing anything for you. Because again, let's say if there's 25% of the traffic you're buying is fraudulent, you need to get a solution that's going to ad accurately identify that 25% and remove it from what you're doing. This way you can actually only spend money on the stuff that works and grow your ROI. So accuracy is paramount. You gotta make sure it's accurate. How do you how do you figure out accuracy? Accuracy? Test it yourself. Run some campaigns and some traffic through it. Tag whether it's leads, e-commerce, <clears throat> whatever the back end conversion values are that you're looking for, and then go back and manually check it. Don't rely on your back end data. Pick up the phone and call the customer. Make sure they were happy with the experience on your website. Pick up the phone and call the person who filled out a form trying to save money on car insurance and ask them, what was their experience on the website? This way you're going to find out if they didn't fill out the form and somebody else filled it out on their behalf, you're going to find out about that. And you're going to be able to tag that form as, as a, not a real lead and then go back to the ad fraud solutions that you're testing to confirm if it's accurate or not. So accuracy is the first thing. The next thing is thoroughness. How much fraud is it finding? Is it finding a lot of fraud, a little bit of fraud? And again, it's important that the thoroughness goes hand in hand with accuracy. If you get a solution that's super, super accurate, that's 100% certain that it's not fraud, and yet it's only finding 1% fraud, <clears throat> either A, you don't have a lot of fraud, which is rare, but maybe you don't, uh, or your focus on it is it's not finding enough fraud. So you need to compare a couple solutions together side by side to really see which solution is finding more fraud and is accurate. So those are the two biggest concerns when uh, considering an ad fraud solution. The third and final is analytics. Most solutions in the, in the marketplace work inside of a black box. I hear this all the time. You know, why is it behind a black box? Well, honestly, nobody wants to give up their secret sauce. Nobody wants to let somebody reverse engineer their solution and fully understand that and fully get that. But what you want to be able to do is get enough data from the vendor that you're choosing to feel comfortable with the solution, feel comfortable with the decision process. So again, accuracy, thoroughness, analytics are the three biggest things you want to consider when looking at fraud solutions. Hopefully you consider us when you're, when you're down that path looking at it, and we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Thanks.